Hi there again. I won't be talking about pandemics today, so let's get to the sensors. I wanted to show you the process of calibrating a motion capture sensor. And for that, I will be using the K-Scepter that we've already provided to our second cohort of beta testers. The sensors that we will deliver after our Kickstarter campaign will look different, but the process will remain the same. In order to initiate the calibration process, as of today, you need to run two commands that you can find in our documentation page. After we've delivered the rewards from our Kickstarter campaign, you will be able to start and end this process through a simple phone app by pressing a button. Once you start with the calibration process, the first step of this process will require you to leave the sensor laying on a plane surface. Once we've been prompted to start the magnetometer calibration process, we have to pick up the sensor, and it is pretty important that you pick it up before actually starting with the magnetometer calibration. This will prevent any metal surface to interrupt the process and render it useless. The actual magnetometer calibration consists of simply turning the sensor into all of its possible positionings. Sometimes it might be hard to remember where you've positioned the sensor though. So if you want to follow a step-by-step -step guide, I would advise you to choose one angle and to remember where the sensor that has the cable is looking at and then simply turn it into all of the faces that this angle provides. After we've finished with one angle, we turn it into the second angle and also turn it into all the possible faces of this angle. And once you've done these two steps, just finish with the magnetometer calibration and once you've ended that process, you can leave the sensor laying down. Again, it's important that you first end with the magnetometer calibration before leaving it on the table, just to avoid any magnetic interferences. As you've seen, the process of calibrating a sensor is actually quite simple and anybody can do it. Thanks for your time and I'll see you in the next video.